Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel. All right, guys, I pulled out the angels and ancestors. Let's see if we're going to get some messages from them this morning. These are one of the decks that was brought down to me. So I'm going to go ahead and use it to see what messages we have from your ancestors. Holy Spirit, holy angels for the collective, guys. This can be past, present, or future. Take it as it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, leave it for someone else. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, guys. And anything you need to know about me is down in this description box. I'm not doing personals. I am giving away three free readings a month. And how to enter is in the description box as well. All right, guys. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors. Spirit guides, what messages do you have for us today? Sage, be devoted and committed. All right, guys, your ancestors want you to be, to be devoted. Be devoted to whatever it is you're giving your time to and be committed to whatever it is you're giving your time to. All right, let's read. It says sage, right? I don't know where that is, but we're going to find out. Hopefully, I'll find it. Sage seer. Oh, God, dog. I went right to it, and then it flipped on me. Sorry, guys. I am the one-hand bandit. If this is your first time coming across my page, I have to use one hand at this time. But I'll be back. I'll be back with the double shuffle soon, doing double dutch. Nah. Be devoted and committed. Be willing to go the whole road and back again, guys. This will allow you to be the best you can possibly be. So the sage, is, it, re it represents the wise within. It shows that you are preparing yourself to become a great and insightful teacher to your peers. So the sage guides you to take notes because your knowledge and your life and, and experiences you about to impart on some incredible insights to those with whom you come into contact. This is also an observation about becoming more aware of who you are and of all your inner workings because the awareness can bring more clarity to your decisions. The, the, the extended message here, guys, is devotion is a powerful energy. Right now, angels and ancestors want to acknowledge how committed you are to your growth. Your continued dedication to this aspect of your life has been recognized and your understanding that you are not only a body but also a soul is all you need to continue growing and expanding. The energy of oneness is offering itself to you now and it's important you take some time to integrate it all so that you can be supported and guided by it. This is what the divine wants for you. Make a note of experiences or teachers making themselves known to you at this time because you are going to share those teachings one day too. Guys, your angels and ancestors are telling you to be devoted and committed to what's going on around you because all the lessons that you take in are also the lessons that you can teach. If you're on a spiritual path, they want you to stay there. Whether you're in school, whatever you're doing, Remember who you come into contact with and what you learn from each person that you come in contact with because that is going to be something you can carry on. Spirit wants you to continue to be devoted and committed to what you are doing at this time. That's beautiful. Oh, I got a chill. Oh, Ooh, I'm getting chills, guys. Look, I don't know if y'all can see my arm. Oh, I just got cold. Maybe that's a message for me. I'll take it. All right, guys. This is a message for all of us, self-included. Be devoted and committed, guys. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Can you give us an insight, please, into this message, Spirit? This is deep. Gave me anxiety. Got me shaking in my boots, guys. I ain't even playing. I ain't even got boots on, but I'm shaking. I'm just shaking and shaking in my boots. <laughs> oops, oops, duh. Okay, so that's not the first card. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, be devoted and committed. All right, Three of Pentacles. So starting out the gate, I don't know if you're starting small. 
you're building small. I don't know if you're starting a new business, but it looks like you're going to be working with someone or teaching someone. It looks like someone wants to build with you. That is the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so here's the tower. Ooh, let's see. Okay. Okay. So somebody's coming in. Somebody wants to come and build with you. And either a tower has fallen in their life and that is allowing them to come to you. And is spirit telling you to be devoted and committed to this, what's coming in? Because here you are, you're the empress. You immediately showed up in your own reading. Like immediately. Actually, you showed up in the last two, which means today may be your day, Divine Feminine. Today may be your day. Because yesterday was the karmic's day. So you're not in hangman. So this person that wants to come in with you had a tower fall in their life. This person wants to be devoted and committed to you. And they thought about it long and hard. They know who you are. They see you as the empress. They know who you are. And this person only has love for you. All seven of his cups were in reverse. It's like he only has eyes for you. There was some justice that was handed down. Or maybe he's waiting for some justice to be served. Or he was served justice and it wasn't in his favor. However, that could have been the tower that catapulted your person to move forward to be more devoted and committed to you. But also for you, you need to stay devoted and committed to yourself and whatever it is that you're doing, regardless of what's going on in this background here. But maybe spirit is telling you to be devoted and committed. Let's see, for the both of you, for this union. Yeah, so that justice there, a partnership. The person that wants to come in, this three of pentacles here that wants to be devoted and committed to you, they ended a partnership because there's that tower there, right? And because they entered that partnership, there's this new beginning. They want this new beginning with you, the empress. Yep, this person walked away from a Ten of Cups. They walked away from a union or what they thought was Ten of Cups. So they see you dil diligently working or you being committed to your craft. Just how Spirit says. Spirit says stay devoted, stay committed. So this person sees you just working, doing you, staying committed. They see you as the queen of wands. You're no nonsense. You're beautiful, but you're no nonsense. And that's how they see you. So here's another judgment. Maybe this is divine judgment. So this person will serve some justice and divine judgment in regards to his connections. It's like he has to choose. He has to either be devoted and committed to one. Right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell us more. God, you remain devoted. Yeah, this person is watching you now. They're in their karmic energy. They're watching you in regards to making a move. They're in the chariot. They want to come towards you. Maybe they are. And they're going to stress balance. They're going to stress equal give and take. So this person that's coming into you guys, they, they're coming in being devoted and committed. And your angels and ancestors are telling you that as well. And that this person has been diligently working in the background. They healed them, their heart from that Ten of Cups in reverse that they were in. Now they're standing in their power, the King of Wands came out right on top of the Queen of Wands, which is you. That's a couple. Guys, Spirit is telling you, yeah, this person walked away because there was no victory in what they were in before. And they've been keeping an eye on you. So Spirit and your ancestors out the gate said, be devoted and committed to this one. 
because this one is going to be devoted and committed to you. Just stay focused, guys. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep doing you. Keep working. Keep balancing you. Don't stop working, you know, regardless of what's going on in the background. It ain't solidified till it's solidified, okay? They see you as the star, so don't stop doing what you're doing. Let this person come to you. Yep. Ace of Cups again. Higher level of commitment, guys. This is your person. Spirit said, Spirit said be devoted and committed. This person is going to be devoted and committed to you. This person has a lot of regrets. They have a lot of regrets. And one of their regrets is they probably walked away from you before because they hide telling their asses back. They're trying to come back now. Maybe they stayed away from you before because maybe this is the page of Pentacles. Maybe they had a child they didn't tell you about. Or maybe they felt like they didn't have enough money to offer you. But nothing is stopping them now. Their money could have been money because now they want this Ten of Pentacles with you. They want to build with you. This person walked away from you before. They abandoned you. They left you out in the cold. They didn't see you. Maybe they had to go within. But they know who you are now. You fulfill them emotionally. Like you are their wish fulfillment. And as I said before, this person walked away from you. They're coming back again. And they feel strong about this connection because they too have been tapped on the shoulder by spirit and their ancestors and they say you need you need to be devoted and committed to this one this is the sun they see you as the sun guys these cards are just right here i'm sitting back on the couch like literally they're making moves guys maybe you live at a distance maybe you talk a lot but they're coming there's their karmic this is the person that they're leaving this person wasn't loving. This is a queen of cups in reverse. Wasn't loving at all. He's coming to you. A self-sufficient woman. Self-sufficient. He's going to offer you the two of cups. Guys, I'm done. And this person thought about it. They thought long and hard about it. Long and hard. And I'm going to leave it there. You know why? Because I can. And I think that's about enough, right? Do we need anything else? He wants this new beginning with you. He put an ending to what he ended. And he wants to start this brand new world with you guys your ancestors came through and they're talking to you and your person this is a dual message your ancestor says sage be devoted and committed to this connection here play it again because i will i need to hear it all right guys thanks for watching Thanks for passing through. If you're just passing through and you like this video, you're like, hey, I like it enough to give it a thumbs up, but not enough to subscribe. Okay, I see you, but come back, right? Come back, come back. Give me two days. Or, or just go down. Just go down and read. And then and then subscribe. You're like, she's a nut. You know, she's a whoop whoop. Right? So, yeah, do that. And then come back and place yourselves at the table. We like company. We do. Please subscribe, guys, if you haven't already. If you want to be the first one to get my messages, get that bell. And then that way, that can actually help you. So hitting that bell will get you my readings first, which means you can comment first, which means your name gets added. Uh-huh. Your name gets added to the pool, right? Because I know there's this one person, and I'm not even going to say her name, but y'all can go back at the videos. She's been first like 10 times, like easy. Like, bam, 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 bam. Like, she's been first all the time. Like, you're just going to get a reading just because. <laughs> you're going to get a free reading just because. Like, I don't know. But she's always first, guys. So, be devoted and committed to this one. I think one day I'm just going to come on here and just talk to y'all. Because I'll, like, I'll be wanting to talk sometime. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace. Send me healing prayers, please, guys. Please, please, please. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up so the tarot DJ, I mean the YouTube DJ, can spin my records, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.